Now today I'm going to be showing you how to change your own oil in your Pontiac Grand Am. Now this is an L4 with 3.4, so this will cover a lot of different cars and years of this, but the primary car you're using is an L4 Grand Am GT. Now, to start, I got a jack here. I'm going to have to jack the car up because it just sits too low really to get up under it. Now if you have a lift or an oil pit, it's going to be a lot easier. But make sure you find a good spot on the frame. Don't jack it up by the oil pan or transmission pan or the engine in general for that matter. Find a good spot on the frame to lift it up where you can get up under it work. Make sure the tires are scotched. Put a brick or something big in front and behind a tire so it doesn't roll in any direction. Now, let's get to it. All right, now I'm underneath the vehicle. There's the front of the vehicle. There's where I have the jack. You can see, there's the old pan. And here's a plug. Now, usually I let the engine warm up for just a little bit to make draining a lot easier. So if you do that, be careful of the exhaust and anything else that may be warm while you're under here, as well as hot oil. Now, obviously I have the drain pan right there ready. But first, I'm gonna loosen that plug right there with my 13 millimeter. Now this is the trick part, because there's just not a whole lot of room Especially while filming. <clears throat> there we go. Alright. Now that I got loose. Pull this. Not centered. But a little bit back. Because. The oil is going to come back in a stream. Now I'm just going to start loosening it by hand. I'm kind of slightly holding it forward towards the pan while doing this so that it just doesn't drop. Now once you feel there's no threads left, you can get ready to pull it all the way out and avoid trying to get a lot of oil on your hands. Like that. There we go. Now I'm going to take a rag or paper towel and clean this off but now we play a waiting game I usually wait until that pretty much completely stops draining just basically where it's just small little trickles before I'll put the plug back in all right now once it's stopped dripping and you pretty much got all the old oil out it's gonna go ahead and tighten this up. Now you don't want to strip it, but you want it tight enough because you do. You sure don't want this thing coming out, going down the road, losing all your oil, and more than likely losing your engine. So, make sure it's fairly tight, and I'm just gonna tap on it a few times. so I know it ain't gonna go anywhere. Now, while I'm under here, I'm gonna go ahead, wipe everything off here, make sure everything's dry. Time for the filter. It's right here, behind the AC compressor, right there. So what I'm gonna do, drain pan's right here. Move the jack over, get the drain pan here. Now sometimes, if you get a good grip, you can take that off by hand. Other times you'll need a filter wrench. So let's curl up under here. Make sure it's right off. Real good. Ain't got no grease or anything on it. So it won't be too hard to spin. And let's see if I can curl up under here with the camera and turn it by hand. Now, it is kind of hard to find a spot to actually 
grab it, so. Okay, so it is a little tight. Sometimes that happens. There we go. Move the pan under there because this, since it's at an angle, it's hard not to get oil anywhere because as soon as you loosen it, there it goes. Now I'm just going to let that drain for a second and then I'll go ahead and pull the filter off. But I'll move the drain pan just a little bit closer and try to do this left handed so I get too much oil on me. And down in there. Now, as you can see, there's plenty of oil coming out still. Just gonna let that sit here with the drain pan under it and get all that oil out of there. Now, while the pan is still under here, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe everything off now that it's clean. That way, nothing drips where we don't want it to. And we know that there is no oil on it. Also, when you take your old filter off, make sure the old gasket around the old filter is not on here at all. Because sometimes with some filters, that happens and then people don't notice. They put on their new filter and it won't seal because there's two gaskets and you start leaking. So make sure that the old gasket is still on there just like that now something I suggest doing is pre-filling the filter with oil now since this is on there at an angle not straight up and down you don't want to pre-fill it all the way but there's nothing wrong with pre-filling the filter and really in all honesty to me it's better you already have oil in the filter, it doesn't have to pump up there. So, you already have some oil there ready to go. And if you got a big jug, it helps having a small bottle around just for this purpose. So, we'll just go in the center and just let some oil flow in. There we go. Then I'll just take a little bit of the oil that's right there and rub it around the new seal. Now it's ready to install. Alright, this may be a trick to do one handed. Here it goes. I'm going to Get this up there and on. It's just a little tricky holding the camera, but no big deal. There we go. Make sure I ain't got nothing under there. All right, now we're gonna tighten it down. We're good by hand. Now, if you got grease on your hand or anything, best to grab a paper towel, wipe it off, and then make sure it's tight. Make sure it's good and tight by hand. And there's still a little old oil, so we're gonna wipe all that back off. Make sure everything is clean. That way it's so much easier to inspect for leaks when you're done. Plus, this helps keep everything clean for future references, inspections, and really just keeping everything clean anyway. Now, this engine does call for four and a half quarts. I myself, and I know plenty of other people, will add five. I've been doing that for a while now on every oil change, and it seems to do pretty well. Especially on this older engine with almost 200,000 miles on it. Because it does slightly 
leak a little bit and usually by the time the oil change comes around it's still full now I've added the oil now I'm gonna wait check it start it let it run check for leaks let it cool back off let the engine oil soak back down check it again make sure it's full and good all right there it is now I did let it run let everything circulate check for leaks stop it let it cool off for a minute or two let all the oil settle checked it it's full we're good to go now I hope this information proved helpful to you if you liked it go ahead and hit the like button make sure you're subscribed and as always thanks for watching